Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jared McGovern with the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. Coming to you from the boathouse on the Muscle Dock at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. And I'm going to be taking you on a little bit of a tour here shortly of a really interesting project that we've been working on in partnership with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service over the last couple of years. And over the last two days, they've been here removing freshwater mussels from our harbor that are going to be seeded back into the Mississippi River as part of different reclamation and conservation projects. So if you give me one moment, I'm going to switch the camera view shortly and we will be taking you on a tour. So as we leave the mussel dock or the boathouse, we're going to be coming out and you'll be able to see that we are just below the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. And on this dock, we have a fantastic crew of volunteers that are cleaning zebra mussels from the culture cages, removing the culture cages and sifting through collecting yearling mussels or mussels that have been in the harbor now for over two growth years, sorting different species of freshwater mussel plain pocketbook mussels, Higgins eye, black sand shell mussels, fragile paper shell, all sorts of fun ones. And if you look at those white tubs right in front of me, and you can see that each one of those plain pocketbook mussels are completely covered in zebra mussels. And what these fine folks right over here on my left are going to be doing are removing those zebra mussels from each one of the native freshwater mussels and transferring them into this cooler, which will go back to the Genoa National Fish Hatchery later on this afternoon. Now you may be asking, what's the, uh, why are we doing this project to begin with? Well, freshwater mussels are keystone species in the Mississippi River. These animals are creating a physical environment with their body and therefore attracting different species of algae, insects, fish that are going to be growing in and around them. They also hold the bottom of the Mississippi River in place, preventing erosion, are integral in the nutrient cycling of the Mississippi River. They also provide a source of food for many different species that are living on this mighty Mississippi directly behind me here. And uh, they're just playing cool. There's about 30 species of these things that you'll find right around Dubuque. And I was told just yesterday that a statewide survey in Iowa had netted about 39 species that have been found throughout the state of Iowa. So if you come down to the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium and you wonder what's happening on our mussel dock or you see these floats in the river or bubbles coming out of the water along our dock, you know that we are working with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Iowa DNR, the Iowa Department of Transportation, on some pretty fantastic conservation projects down here at the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. Have a great day. Come see us. Get outside this weekend.